Okay, now the hand's okay. Nemkov trying to find him, but Geary stops that takedown. That was great. Breaks away with a head kick. Clayton Hires tells me this every single day in practice. The simple theory is a guy can't fix it on the fly. So if, it, if you get past the gate once on him, just keep going back to it. Make him deal with that in the locker room in the next month before the next camp. Look for another kick. Big right hand lands. Huge right hands, but Geary can take a punch though. Oh, McGeary went for an outside leg trip. Good shot by Vadim Nemkov. Long limbs uh -oh, for uh -oh. McGeary. This is his move. Oh, oh he lost it. Vadim was smart. He watched it. He postured up, put a little too much pressure on the crooks of that lock. Was able to get him to break it. And now McGeary here, right here, he's looking to come up. Old McGeary would have stayed down. Right. New McGeary, is, he's not seeing an opening, but he wants to come up to his feet here. Liam McGeary loves fighting off his back. He doesn't have the use of the mobility of his leg. He can't feel it the same. Look at this, Big Dan's starting yeah. to look on. McGeary is starting to, just, he's just being dog tough right here. 25 year old's pretty impressive. Right there, That's stop it. it. Yeah. They stopped the fight. Liam McGeary just could not take any more kicks. No, he turned away. And that, look, story of all three rounds. He's setting them up. There he's coming inside. But I will point, point out one, one other thing for you, Goldberg. It, every kick went to the same leg. He never was hunting. He never tried to get fancy or go to that rear leg. Outside leg kick, every now and then slip up and inside attack the same limb until the opponent can no longer stand. Here we go. Hurt his knee in that fight against Kelly Amundsen and was out for a little bit after that, about, about two years, Jimmy, almost two years to the day. Good right hand. See who takes control of this first round. Oh, there's your answer. It is all over, just like that. The bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core. Bang! Right hand right on the chin. And Felipe Lance, his eyes wide shut. Great stoppage by John McCarthy, but look at the placement on that right hand. Head snaps on the mat. Look at this, eyes are cloudy. Just enough to see this punch coming, and that is it. Big John McCarthy right on top of it. Vadim Nemkov. Great way to start, winner at 3.03 of the first. Kerry, Kerry Hatley speaks Texan. I was gonna say, yeah, and he speaks Southern. Here we go, main event. The former middleweight champion, Rafael Cavallo in the red gloves, 10 and two. That Deem Nemkov oh, he's in hurt. the blue gloves. Oh, he's hurt right now. Early. Looking for the finish right here, right now. This is exactly where Rafael Caballo did not want to be on his back with Nemkov on top of him. That first nice little inside leg kick set up that high kick. Caballo trying to get himself up off of his back, utilizing the cage, smart movement. Nemkov needs to just hold on, close his hands around it. That way you can bring him back down to the ground. Good shots. Lead leg to the inside of Nemkov's legs. That's putting him out of position to land that left hand that is so effective for him in most of his fights. First round yep. in Japan. He learned from it. You can see how he's altered what he's doing in fights. He's not going this crazy all out all the time. He's slowing himself down. He's picking the shots just like you see it now. Nice great fighting of the legs. Heavy hip pressure down. Let me just sit here and just beat you up with little shots that'll open up into big shots like that elbow right there. Looking for his third straight win. 
over a former Bellator champion. Brown needs to be very careful about giving his back to Nemkov. Just start opening up. It's, it's all about that heavy hip pressure. It has been a long time since someone has submitted Papiel Cavallo. That world light heavyweight world title belt you just saw. And Lifts has never been in a position with this much pressure. He just passed down. Uh, now Nemkov immediately goes for the level change. And he is controlling this fight in every way you can control it. You gotta, you gotta really love the fight IQ of Nemkov. and say, hey, why am I gonna stay here where you have hurt me before? I'm gonna go back to where I have been very dominant in this fight. I'm gonna put you on your back. I'm going to use ground and pound against you. Let's just have that little hope spot about two minutes into the first round. Knock them caught down. Since then, it's looked a lot like this. And again, a lot of people don't like it. They want to see guys on their feet slinging bombs. This is called being intelligent if you're Vadim Nemkov. And even though he's getting high right there, Rizkis doesn't have the energy to get him off. You don't see him trying to buck up. You don't try to see him trying to make even moves to get back on his feet. He's yeah. trying to survive, and he's in trouble here. He's looking for the straight arm lock. Trying to turn that over, put pressure on that. Hybrid in the elbow. Tough to do it from that spot, but he has been pounding Andrescus for the last 20 minutes. He can switch this up to an Americana. He just needs to separate the head from the shoulder area. Where his arms are at right now is not doing that. That's why you're seeing Angrixis be able to put up with that pressure. Nice Kamura. Yeah, that's it. Benim Nemkov dominated the fight. The only question was, could he get the stoppage he wanted? And he was not going to let go until he did. A very good fighter from that arm. All he was doing, early second, early third, early fourth, get it to the ground and impose his will. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so... It's so hard to express how good a fighter someone like Julius Anglixis is and when you see someone dominate him in the fight. Beautiful job of finally getting that. Notice the separation of the head from that shoulder area. That's what makes it painful. Great Kamura victory. Great submission by Vadim Nemkov. No doubt about it, he'd be right. Here we go! He said he's felt great, he said he looked really good. He felt good in camp. But this all doesn't translate sometimes in a fight against someone who is young, 27 years old, reaching their front. You know, it's easy to say he needs to do it, but he's feeling something out of Nemkov. Oh, he's big! Oh, he's done. It's done. It's over. Can he survive? Hater trying to hold on. Get up, get up, get up. Wow, Ryan Bader is Ryan Bader trying to get back up. Ryan's trying to hold on here. My goodness. Doing everything he can, crabbing gloves, everything. I don't blame him. He's in deep trouble here. There's too much time left on this clock. He's taking a lot of shots. He's up. It needs for now, though. It's that's done. It, it. it is all over. Benim Nepkov is the new Bellator light heavyweight champion. Oh. Ah. This whole thing was set up with the combinations earlier in the fight, and now followed up with a beautiful head kick. And the reason why it worked is because every time Ryan Bader backed up, he backed up reaching out with his hands, and he leaned his upper body back. He didn't move his feet with him. Look you see it shot. right there. He turns his head, that hits square to the back of the head, but that's a legal shot. Ryan's the reason that the shot landed to the back of the head, so that is a fair, bl fair blow. And from this point on, Ryan was just trying to hold on, survive. He did a great job, but that is a huge shot to have to try to work your way through. Beautiful kick. And then you see Nemkov. You saw Ryan get to his feet. He got back up, and when he got back up, he's turning his head away from Nemkov. He can't see the shots coming. When you don't see him coming, you're just not fighting smart.